Coming into tonight, Bill Finley had 749 career wins, just one away from a big milestone as his team looked to break a three game losing streak. Number 17, Texas was in town and the Cyclones started off hot. They got off to an eight nothing lead. Lexi Donarski hits the three to make it 11 to two, but she took an accidental shoulder to the face and had to leave the game. ISU led by nine at the half. She got stitched up in the locker room, returned, and she uh, made her presence known here. I just, er, she beats the buzzer to put ISU up 12 at the end of the third, fighting through the pain, finishing with 11 points tonight. It was a, a big day for freshman Danae Fritz. She ends a Texas run with this tough and one finish. She had 10 and put the Cyclones up 10. Fritz also added seven crucial rebounds, and the Longhorns did cut it to three late, but Ashley Jones ices the game. Count the basket, 24 points and eight rebounds on the night for her, and Iowa State ends their three-game skid 66 to 61 in its win number 750 for Coach Fennelly. Local 5's Jake Bren has more from Ames. Coming off of three straight losses, Iowa State needed to be the hungrier team, and they were. They jumped out to an 8-0 lead and never lost it. The Longhorns shot just 30% from the field in the first half. Now, Texas did figure it out a little bit in the second half, but Iowa State answered every punch. Four players scored in double digits for the Cyclones in an efficient effort from the field for Bill Fenley's 750th win. Now, that's one milestone. This was also Iowa State's first win over Texas since 2020, and it couldn't have come at a better time. You know, you beat a really good team. The environment here is great, and when you're looking for that and you're looking for seating and all those kinds of things, sure, it, it's got to be a help. It was such a team effort. We had so many people contribute in different ways and so many people step up and get huge rebounds when we really needed them. Tonight, they walked up that ramp uh, with their head up and uh, we haven't been able to do that against Texas very often. Winning at home was the first step. Now the Cyclones have to do it on the road. They go to Baylor on Saturday, a team that beat them just a week ago right here in Hilton Coliseum. Reporting in Ames, Jake Brend. Local 5 Sports.